This is Trisha. We met three years ago. She's my soulmate. She's the most infectiously positive bundle of happiness I've ever come across. She makes the good times so much better. And in the bad times, she's the first to come and the last to leave. And I want to marry her. But we have to do this properly. I've been dreaming since the age of 10 about how I would one day propose. And so now that it's actually happening, I want to make sure I do that little guy proud. So this is what we need to do. I've got to figure out how I'm going to propose. I want to ask for her parents' permission. We've got to find the perfect ring. Then I've got to actually ask her the question. And she cannot find out about any of this until that happens. Let's do it. So here's the thing, right? Trisha is a super intelligent girl. She is like this. And so every time we've had an anniversary or a birthday, I've always tried to turn it into some sort of increasingly challenging puzzle that she has to solve. But no joke. I spent hours, even yeah. days on these puzzles, only for her to just look at them and go, I thought that was going to take longer. Not this time. I realized the only right way to do this proposal was to create the first puzzle that would actually challenge her. And probably the last puzzle I'll ever make. I'm not dying. She's just too good at puzzles. Okay, I've decided. We're gonna make a custom escape room from scratch. We're gonna do the puzzles together, but it's only when she gets to the final room and she realizes that the entire thing was made for her that I'm gonna get on one knee and ask her to spend the rest of her life with me. Now, obviously, I'm gonna need a little bit of help. So I furiously emailed company after company, got rejection after rejection, until... There is a guy called Jay. He's basically just messaged back to say, great to hear from you, this sounds fun. I couldn't believe it. We're doing this, but I have to contain my excitement. I'm still regularly meeting up with Trisha. She cannot find out. About to meet the guy who's gonna make this happen. Nice to meet you. Hello. This is Jay, the only man big brain enough to make something that Drisha might actually struggle with. You could have some strange sounds coming from that completely seamless transition into the game. This meeting was really where it started to dawn on me just how next level this proposal could be. Even just like talking about it is giving me like butterflies. <laughs> nice. yeah. We decided to shape each room within the escape room based on her favorite dates that we've been on. So for example, our very first date we met at a cocktail club. There's got to be a bar in this escape room. One of our most memorable was dining in the dark together. So that's gonna become an immersive pitch black room. She took me out once to a video game arcade, which is when I first realized how competitive she was and how compatible we were. And probably our joint favorite date involved sneaking into a park at night and gazing at stars together. That had to make it in two. We ended up with four key puzzle rooms, but each of those would also be filled with smaller references to the other things we've done together. So we're trying to find a venue to be able to host the escape room in, but this is London. This never occurred to me before, but actually trying to hire a large scale venue in London for months at a time, it's a treat being quoted as 50,000 pounds. But then we had a brainwave. We found a piece of software that when you do a Google search, it retrieves all the phone numbers and the email addresses of the results. So to get ourselves an actually affordable price, we targeted all venues that might have some spare space that they weren't going to be using. Pubs, churches, local government buildings. We ended up accumulating a list so large that we were able to push out 300 emails a day to them, seeing who was interested. We had many calls and many weeks of just narrowing this net down. So we can use this location. Milo showing everyone his location. And then we found the perfect one, a pub called the Gunnersbury. Just managed to leave the house. He thinks I'm seeing a friend. I took a nice little secret journey to the other side of London. We're here. This is where it's happening. This is the actual pub. We're going to be downstairs. These are the stairs that we're actually going to walk down. It actually looks exactly what you would expect a pub basement to look like. But that is actually kind of perfect because the hardest part of this whole thing is getting Drisha to the final room without her realizing what's about to happen in it. And then this is where the game begins. You actually need to call. Sorry. <laughs> this is the first room where the tone is going to change. She's going to come here thinking, oh, what a nice drinking establishment. We're going to have some drinks, we're going to have some more drinks, and then we're going to stumble out the way we came. But she's going to have absolutely no idea that this is actually themed after our first date, that it's about to become an entire escape room, or that she's about to be proposed to. And then this is the main room, which we're going to completely transform. Now that we have the floor plan locked in, it's a little scary because we realize we have a lot of rooms to fit into not a lot of space. But with about half a day of intricate fiddling, we finally figured out how to fit everything we could have possibly wanted inside and a way to get from each room to the next one. You could potentially make the final room, a long aisle, so that she solves her final puzzle, she walks in and she sees me at the end. I'm actually so nervous just being here, it's starting to feel so real. It has just occurred to me, we also need the perfect song to play while I'm proposing. My sister is the best piano player that I know. Hmm, interesting. Hey, I've got a slight favor to ask. You know how we're doing this escape room? Do you think yeah. you can play her number one favorite song on piano? Yeah, sure. 
Thank you. So, now that I'd secured the music, it was also time to secure the parents. But, because I wanted to see their reaction in person, I couldn't tell them what this was actually about. So I'm about to text Rish's mom. How do I do this? Okay, so basically, I'm planning a surprise. That'll work because her birthday is around the same time, so hopefully she'll assume that's what I'm talking about. And I'm not lying, technically. I've booked us a table. Would you mind coming with me to help sample some food? Please don't tell her. And we wait. With all of these things cooking in the background, it was time to find the ring. This is Hatton Garden. It is apparently the ring capital of the country. Kind of weird that I'm actually shopping for a ring. That doesn't feel real. Thankfully, I did actually ask her really early on in our relationship what type of ring she likes. Been storing it up here. She's gonna want a thin band, a fairly small stone, and that stone, I think, should be a diamond. As you can tell, I know nothing about rings. <laughs> all right. We're looking for like a really simple shape straight out of a Disney movie. The proportion has to be kind of quite dainty. Yep. Is there a name for something like that? Tiffany Star. Oh. Tiffany Star. That was, that was so easy. <laughs> and the search had begun. I went from store to store to store, learning everything I could about the mysterious market of rings. Oh my God. And look what they've got. Where have you seen this before? This looks really nice. That's crazy. So, is it a, a thing to have a bezel all the way around? Okay, yeah. Seems ironic, me putting the bezels back on. It's actually phenomenal how fat my fingers are. I look pretty though. I was getting a really good idea of what kind of ring I wanted, but for now, there was an even more important job to be done. All right, so we're off to go meet the parents. Thankfully, they don't know who Josh is, which is gonna give us the perfect opportunity. <laughs> so we are at the location now. We've got Josh sitting over there. He's gonna hold the phone and record, and her parents are gonna be right here and here. I'm sure it's gonna go well, but I'm just like, my heart is racing right now. 10 minutes felt like forever, but they did eventually arrive. But yeah, we got this surprise plan. Oh, okay. So it's, uh, you know, her birthday's coming up. It's not a birthday surprise. Um, it's a two-month Oh, thank you. Yeah, the reason we're here is Trisha is my best friend in the whole wide world. And I want to marry her. And I wanted to ask your guys' permission. Amazing music given. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. Oh my god. You can ask better than you. <laughs> Seriously. I was considered your son. Oh. The day we met you. Yeah. Wonderful news I've heard in my life. Cheers. That's my cameraman over there. Josh, we're good. Oh. <laughs> that went about as well as it could have. I'm going straight back to her house right after her parents. We've left like a 30 minute time gap, so it's not too suspicious. I'm literally going to be walking in, saying hi to them in front of her, not acknowledging the fact we've just spent the last two hours together. The web of deceit grows. So I spent a lot of time over the last three days trying to figure out what we're gonna call this escape room. I really wanted to be some sort of amalgamation of our names, Arun and Drisha, but it's just not clicking. I realized there's something called an anagram generator, which can scramble letters you give it. But the best I could do with our two names was harsh durian, which did not feel like the answer. I think we might have cracked it. It doesn't just need to be Arun Drisha, it can be Arun Drisha forever. Hey Jay, I think we figured out a name for Harvard Henry's. This is gonna work perfectly. So she's gonna notice that the bar is called for Harvard Henry's very early on. But what I'm hoping is that it's only in her final puzzle where she's gonna be unscrambling these tiles that everything is suddenly going to fall in place and she's gonna realize. I'm actually so relieved. Trisha has come to visit me right now. I asked her mum to measure her ring that she has at home and then to send me what the size is. And she is so smart because she's realized that I'm with Trisha. And so the text she sent is encrypted. Hi, Erin. Just check the Wi-Fi speed and it's 48. Is that good? 48. That's the number. We're off to go buy a ring. Today's the day. It's a lot of stairs. That's the place I wanted to go. Well, that's not good. At this point, I was armed with all the knowledge of a diamond dealer and ready to buy. Then, at the single moment I least expected it, at the local Nottingham Christmas market, I found... Yeah, no, this wasn't it. I basically went to every single jewellery shop in my entire city. We're looking for a very specific thing. But the more I looked, the more it seemed like a fruitless effort. It's all exactly what I wanted in London. Maybe I should have just got it then. Yes. I should have. Within five minutes, I was in a car, and within three hours, I'm back in London. Let's go buy a ring. This is it. I found the design. And I also realized that this perfect ring I've been thinking about this whole time was actually just a demo unit that just had a $2 quartz instead of a diamond inside of it. So, a slight knock to my confidence as diamond master. But when I saw this one actual stone that we could use inside, I could not believe the amount of color and sparkle. That stone sold me on the spot. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. See you next year, I guess. Merry Christmas. Okay, done. I just bought my engagement ring. Holy moly. 
I've just checked into my room for the night. This is actually freaky. So Drisha just went out for dinner. Got a fortune cookie. There's a good chance of a romantic encounter soon. Tell me that's not at least a little bit sus. I just thought this was funny. So just in case it pops up as a message while she's around. <laughs> I've renamed the ring place to just Harry on my phone. Now things were getting properly serious though, it's about time we sent the most important text message of this entire project. So, I'd realised very early in this process that there was only one perfect day that this proposal had to happen on. Monday 6th of February. The day we first met was a Monday, and February 6th would be exactly three years since the day I asked her to be my girlfriend. Time to ask her to book the day off. Her birthday's coming up very, very soon. What I'm going to tell her is I've managed to book something for her during the day, but the thing that I wanted to do in the evening wasn't available. What a shame, we have to do it on February 6th. Would you hypothetically be able to book off Monday 6th? <laughs> Oh, Feb. Oh my god, she's seen the message. She said, you know exactly how to pique my curiosity. I must. Yes. That's everything I needed. I feel like I'm developing a sort of internal filter that stops me speaking before I've checked that what I'm saying doesn't contain the ring, Drisha, her parents, escape room. And this is all also happening while I'm planning to surprise my mum with her dream car. The two biggest secrets I've ever kept from the two people that I probably talk to the most. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Literally every single day now, all I can think about is just the moment where she looks at me and she knows what's about to happen. I get down on one knee, I ask her to spend the rest of her life with me. It's that like floating feeling in the pit of my stomach. It <laughs> does not want me to sleep right now. And just to be sure that I kept it under wraps, I decided to tell everyone who knew about the plan to only call it Puzzle from now on. And this ended up saving the entire plan a few times, including when she was working right next to me and the puzzle chat was pinging with notifications. It's ring pickup time. My right back. We actually have it. Very good and surreal. Since I'm literally off to go see her now, I'm gonna wrap it in a sock and hide it in the front of my bag. Off we go. <laughs> you stay in there. I'll come for you soon. All right, it's now January 25th. We're literally two weeks away. So it's finally time to see what this escape room looks like. This is where we find out if all of the planning, the diagrams, sketches, if all of that was worth it. We're going in backwards first. Oh, we have rooms. This looks very, very different. When we saw this, it was just one big space. Oh, there's a dog. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Now, three things became very clear to me in this moment. A, this was going to be the best escape room she's ever experienced. This is cool, this is very cool. B, there was a lot of work to do in not a lot of time. And C, this was one very hungry dog. She just ate the sandwich. <laughs> It's really nerve-wracking, is thinking about at what stage is she going to figure out what's happening? Yeah. She's going to figure out at some point. This is very unfortunate. That might be the sandwich from earlier. <laughs> Don't eat it, no! <laughs> this is why you get a cat. <laughs> But the main thing we came to do was to set up and install the highest end live streaming cameras we could possibly find. Oh my God, those are enormous. We thought, okay, this escape room is incredibly low light. We're gonna need the best possible set of cameras that all connect to one central hub so that we can monitor them and move them in real time. Let's see how far we can zoom in. This is the last time we're gonna be here until the proposal. Or well, so I thought. So we've got a slight problem. When you actually set the escape room to realistic lighting conditions, it's just a sheet of grain. I actually can't believe this is happening right now. These cameras that we've rented are worth, in total, 36,000 British pounds. And the phones are shooting far better footage. <laughs> I'm just in shock. So I just had a bit of a brainwave. We're making this escape room, so we can just invent a reason for us to have to mount cameras onto ourselves, obviously. So we went away and we came up with a plan. We're gonna have 10 iPhones, two wearable on-body cameras, and then six high-end security cameras. Because security cameras are built to see in pitch black using infrared, we bought one just to make absolute sure that it would work well in low light, and it passed with flying colors. So, we are back. Armed with the heaviest gear bag I've ever had the pleasure of trying to carry, the camera situation was finally under control, and we even got J2 agree to find a way to integrate the body cams, which, since he's all about the immersion of the escape rooms he works on, he obviously loved. How do you feel about us having these attached to us? During the game? Yeah, during the game. <laughs> um, um, um. <laughs> I'm actually so sorry, Jay. Anyway, while I was in Jay's control room, I also got to see how he was going to be able to change his voice to sound like Zeus to direct us during the game. So you created a profile for your voice, so yes. that when it goes through this, it changes it. Exactly, yeah. My name is Zeus. 
but it was only now that it dawned on me. We had just days to go, and this final proposal room was not looking nearly as good as it needed to. She's gonna remember this room for the rest of her life. Time to take matters into my own hands. I legged it to the closest hardware store. I bought up every white curtain and suitable LED strip I could find, and basically spent the next four hours frantically pulling down the decor that was there and replacing it with what I thought the room should look like. I would have stayed through the night till it was finished, but before I knew it, it was 6 p.m. and I had to head to the other side of London for a Samsung event. Terrified knowing that it was not done and that I would now have no more time until the proposal day itself. I can hear my sister practicing the song. song was literally the most beautiful thing I've ever heard, but it actually took from morning to the middle of the night to put it all together, smooth out the rough edges and finish this masterpiece. And while I was there I also realised there was actually a correct knee to go down on, so I got some final practice in. The only things left to do then were to buy the suit I was gonna wear, stare at the ring for the hundredth time, make myself look as presentable as possible, which included a very painful eyebrow threading appointment, oh, this is fun. and then practice speed changing. When Drisha is in her final room, unscrambling the name of the bar, I'm gonna have a maximum of two and a half minutes to actually change my entire outfit, so I had to make damn sure I could do that. It was time. It's the day itself. This place needs so much work. I'm both the most nervous and most excited I've ever been in my entire life. Putting my latex allergy to the side for a minute, I have never blown up balloons with more pace than I did in those two hours. I can't understate how many balloons we ended up getting, but I just blew like my life depended on it. I'm literally gonna have to pick Trisha up in 20 minutes. There's so much to do. <laughs> Time was up. I left the dog in charge, hid all sandwiches, and headed off to pick up my 2B fiance, just after a quick bathroom trip on the way out. Ooh, sorry. So I've just realised I forgot my microphone, which was going to be attached to me to record the entire audio track. So I've told my team to basically wrap it all up and hide it in the bathroom, which I will then visit when I take Trisha to the pub. Don't make things easy. And there she was, completely oblivious to what was about to happen. I tell you, keeping my cool in this moment was absolutely essential, and also one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Would you believe me if I said we're actually going to a pub? No. Well, we're going to the pub, and I'm going to the bathroom to reclaim my lost microphone. Thankfully, it's not engaged this time. Ooh, sorry. But I'm about to be. Um... Well, hopefully, because this is the moment we walk down into the basement and begin the game. Time to see how my entire year of planning pays off. Hello there, guys. How are you doing? How are you guys doing tonight? All right? <laughs> yeah. This doesn't look like a standard sort of lockdown. <laughs> but I'll explain why. So, basically, my name is Henry Maynard. I'm from a company called for Harvard Henry's. You have a couple of cocktails to give you guys tonight. So seeing as it's February, we think we'd go with the theme of love. I assume you two are together. You'd like to think so, yeah. <laughs> so the first cocktail, Lady we like to call the Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of romantic beauty. <laughs> are you surprised? <laughs> yeah. Like, this is not what you expected. No. It was in plain sight that you were like, we're going to a pub. Yeah, I told her, I'm yeah. like, we're going to a pub. And she's like, no, there's no way you made me dress up to come to a pub. <laughs> So in this bad boy, it is a little bit of a mixture of everything sweet, everything nice, but not too much spice. So we were just having a conversation about how I don't think she can one for one me on drinks, mm -hmm. but she disagrees. That's one of the best cocktails I've ever had. Well, I'm glad you guys are enjoying. Next one's very interesting. I'm glad you guys mentioned tolerance. So Absolutely. this next one is very strong. I've put it in the wrong fridge because I'm quite tired. And I had this one last night and normally I feel like my alcohol tolerance is pretty high. Knock me down. <laughs> I woke up and I was just clutching that book. What? What is the book? Full of like weird stories. You guys sit here for one sec. I'm just going to grab it. My dreams plague me, although my name is Oasis. This Not is insane. I have entered your dreams to destroy true love. You will never find the missing ingredient to your love. Challenge me at your peril. And the game begins. Fun fact, even though I helped to design them, of course, just to be absolutely certain that the experience felt real to me, I also made sure that I knew none of the answers to these puzzles. This is an immersive escape room. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so cool! I don't know anything else. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> my name is Zeus. I am here to guide you. Place the senses on your person. So it's got to be something to do. knowledge from books. There's books here. Wait, there's something here. It's like a laser oh, tag thing. Yeah? Okay, so we've got to do something with these senses. I'll take my coat off. That was the best drink I've ever had. Okay, so book. All right, so December 31st. I see the gods and they tell me to place three offerings on a bed of feathers. The god Aphrodite appears in the form of a beautiful woman with long flowing hair. She is holding a scallop shell. 
Is that a scallop shell? Just see if there's anything else underlined then. Peacock. Drish, on that table. On a bed of feathers. That's the bed of feathers yeah. right there. Oh, nice. Okay, so put them there. You have opened a gateway to your dreams. Oh my oh. god. We done it. Bar room solved. I could not believe this was actually working. She genuinely thinks the escape room is the only surprise. But now it was on to the pitch black room. And the name does not lie. Wow. Oh, the stuff sticking out. Put your hand in here. <laughs> oh, it's gooey. <laughs> we quickly realized that there were pieces all around the room that needed to be used to fill the three circles at the end, taking into account the three different types of texture that each one had. I feel like I can see half a crescent. Oh, there's another piece here. Oh wait, there's another one here. Oh, there's another piece here. Oh wait, that's felt. And it's it, got a diamond. Is that like a sticky surface? Yeah. Perhaps? We solved the first circle within a minute by just using the pieces we'd already found. We just had two pieces left to put in. So we need the bottom one of this and the top one of that. Getting them out must be something to do with these. Okay, so there's five levels to this. Are there five slime tubes? It's only four. Yeah. Oh. oh. Maybe that's the code to this. Yeah, but there's a lock here. It's a coded padlock, right? Yeah, and we can't actually see. There's buttons. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Okay, so which ones are out? Uh, okay, so left at the top, then it's right, then it's neither, then it's left, then it's both. You got it. The final piece took a good 10 minutes of shuffling around in the dark and sticking our hands into some very unpleasant places. Can you feel anything that might be a key? Oh, it's actually wet. Before finally. Yes! Yes! Ooh. I'll let you do the honors. They've escaped the darkness of eternal slumber. What do you think for Harvard Henry so far? I love it <laughs> so much. We'd made it to the video game room and to kick it off, a custom video game that we had designed from scratch just for her. Compete against each other to win. This is so like satisfying, this you know, like the early consoles and stuff. Wait, so how do you go against each other? It's a two-player head-to-head version of Pac-Man, made to work with a controller that I can only describe as Twister for your fingers, where instead of collecting food, we're collecting hearts. All right, I've worked out how to go up and down. Wait, 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 Drish, it might be mapped to opposite sides. Maybe you get your four fingers on where right and left are. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> I'm so disoriented. I want to at least get like one I'm heart. So... Oh. That's, um, I'm so that's unfortunate. I'm so the colorful fruit could link to this, because look, red, Yellow, yeah, yellow, green, blue, and then yeah, reset. Right. Yeah, yeah. Red, yellow, green, blue. Whoa! Yes! That was, that was too easy. <laughs> Is that open? Oh, yeah. Yes! We've got, oh! We've got a little hot. Wait. Winner? Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, I've got scrabble. No, tires. Dresh! <laughs> yeah, mindset loser. I think we have to wear them based on the game that we just played. Oh, I'm just gonna keep it in my no, back. I'm gonna keep it in my no. back. No. Okay, so we've just got to figure out these. Oh! Oh, oh, the heart. Yeah. Put it over them. Put it over the numbers. Ah! Oh. Somehow, Drisha had realized in seconds that putting this red heart over these numbered sheets around the room revealed a set of pixelated characters, which when cross-referenced with the characters on this poster, spelled out a code. Oh, it's the sheets, number three. That's insane. So the first number is number three. So you can tap three. Okay. Number eight, do you think? Yeah. Seven. Yeah. So two is seven. Two is seven. Yeah, you need to look, I think. Got one dot, one floating dot. I think it's one. Okay, this one has a square in the middle and a U shape. 3714. Try it. Yes! Oh! We're so good. My heartbeat was getting faster and faster, knowing we are so close now. I can't describe to you how surreal it felt to see Drisha finally standing in these rooms with me. And the first thing we notice in this park room is targets with labels on them. Oh, soul. Search. Like Love. Light. Heart. Year. It's like star signs. Yeah. And then the last one is year. So maybe it's a sequence you have to... Oh. <laughs> this puzzle's referencing one of our biggest dates ever. We went to a random field in the middle of nowhere and played outdoor laser tag together. And this was where we first said we loved each other. So before the people start, words and then fear. Take aim at love and finish with year. So oh. let's shoot love and shoot yeah. Love's there. Oh, year's over here. We use that one. Okay. Oh yeah, you can move it. That's so satisfying. But it wasn't the answer. You can put a start with love, do all the rest. And then get that to one's it. reset, look. So it'd be love, something, 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 something here. You keep flashing me. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> boxes here, painting things, pizza boxes. This is like when we painted our pizza boxes. That was one of my favorite dates ever. The soul search. Do the words link together like soul search? Soul yeah. search. Light year. Light oh. year. Now we just need to shoot them. Okay, let's try it. Love heart. Did I get it? 
Oh, we've got to do it quickly. My heart is racing yeah. right now. Yeah, that's not quite why my heart's racing. Open fire! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Surely the tree's gonna go dark. Okay, so heart done. Yep. So now you do that one. So done. Yep, okay, done the other one. So now it's light year. Yes. Okay, that should be all of them. Yes! yes. Oh, that was oh so my good. god. Okay. Oh, there's so much stuff there. Okay. Oh god, that felt so good. <laughs> Take a seat and gaze upon the stars to see where your destiny lies. Make a wish on Polaris to the north. Look over to where the sun sets and discover the herdsman battling over Ariadne's treasure with Hercules. Take this treasure she wore on her wedding day to unlock your dreams. Oh, Drish, wait, keys. So one of those is going to open that box. Yeah, they all have a word on that. Wait, Drish, have you seen this? Look at the ceiling. Oh, look at the stars. Whoa, when did that happen? That's, that's my one. Yeah, that's her, please. That's the other one. I'm gonna lie and look at stars at me. I will remember this moment for the rest of my life. I was struggling to keep myself together at this point, not even because we were now lying on the exact spot the dog had defecated on. I just knew that we were minutes away from the big moment. Can you see this shape anywhere on there? Is it that one? Yes, Polaris to the north. Is the tie, yeah, so it's that one. So Heracles is this, like, type thing. That's Heracles and that was the other one. Yeah. Battling over the treasure. And there's a shape in the middle, and the key could be the middle of them. Okay, we got this. Let's figure this out. Well, I think that might be the key. To the box. Oh, oh, right. Oh, yes. wow. <laughs> Keep me with you. Whoever's birth date is closest <laughs> to Capricorn. Me. How do you know that? Because I have a Capricorn. Ah, <laughs> the house. They must take their gift of velvet pouches with them. The other must wait and enter into the waking world. So I take you. Oh no, we separate. So I'll just chill here then. Tell me about it later. But while Drisha was piecing together what would become the most emotionally charged puzzle of her entire life, I had a slightly different puzzle on my hands. I never die. It's in the suit jacket. It's in the suitcase. I was scrambling around, going from room to room, looking for it, trying to be as quiet as possible. Sorry? But in my mind, I was screaming. I knew she was getting closer and closer. I got it, I got it. Four Harvard Henrys, I got it. Watch out. And that any second now it would all click into place for her and that final door would open. So I decided to just say, screw it. I ran upstairs because our families were waiting up there, borrowed my brother's tie and prepared myself for the big moment. Meanwhile, Drisha figured it out. Drisha, forever, and then Renu. She knew what the final word was, but this is her, almost paralyzed in the moment, not even able to put that final tile in place. This is the moment she realized everything. She realized that the escape room was not just for us, but about us, that I'd built the entire thing, and more importantly, what was about to happen next. You have solved the puzzle. You have escaped your slumber to overcome me. Join your beloved in the waking world and I will not trouble you again. Now leave this place. Does it all make sense now? <laughs> when I first met you, when you first walked away from me on our very first date, I've told you this. I saw you disappear into the underground and I turned around and I swore. That's partly because I never wanted that date to end. I'm just throwing popcorn in my mouth. But it's also partly because I knew in that moment that my life had changed forever. And it's why now I want nothing more than to spend the rest of my life with you. Trisha. You marry me. <laughs> Always, always, yes. This doesn't feel real. 
my god. Love you so much. Love you too.